All right, so I'm at it again. Um, this is how I pump uh, gear oil into my transmission. Instead of doing like gravity feed and coming down and all that, just a carburetor pump. Hook it up, 12 volt, and just let it feed. And so, the uh, reason why this car is jacked up is because I went and I changed the starter. The starter was tripping on me. Um, after I changed the starter, I had to take out the whole um, passenger side manifold, the motor mount, to get that bitch out. So then when I did that, um, you can kind of see there's a little, well maybe not, There's a, it bottomed out, you know, my pipe. So my V-band was good and everything, but I actually cracked the pipe up there. So I had to weld that all back. So after I welded all that back and got that going, then I was like, you know, I want to do a heat. So I made like a little temporary, you know, preliminary preliminary um, heat shield for the transmission before that comes off. Because sometimes, you know, I feel it was kind of hot. Then, um, I had been leaking a lot of gear oil. Um, and I think it was because the transmission was sitting, you know, like down. So I ended up lifting it about an inch um, to where it's sitting in the trans tunnel. Like it's right there. Um, and so hopefully that will keep more of the fluid in the body. Of that rather than towards the back and leaking out of the um, output shaft or input shaft from well input for the drive shaft but output for the tranny but anyhow it's really an output shaft um, so I'm just doing that right now just topping it up and uh, got my new starter well used new but and um, you know hopefully we should be good to go so alrighty later alright so I came out I don't know I moved the car and I was like you know what let me just drive the car to help wishy wash all that uh, gear oil back around onto the synchros and all that and go through it and um, yeah you know this uh this, my powers restored since I got all my coolant going um, you know so I'm happy up to but um yeah now nah, I got my my insta boost back on so that's cool um, car feels good just now I probably got to redo those motor mounts because um, I got solid mounts and now I'm getting this crazy vibration um, I'll see after if I get the um, the what do you call it uh, what's that shit called Oh, the alignment done if it goes away or you know like whatever I guess maybe but um yeah I don't know it's always something but I think I, never, I didn't have it before so I'm thinking it's because of the way I tilted the motor and I got solid mounts so there's probably a strain so one of these days I guess I'm gonna have to loosen the motor mounts and just let them kind of let the engine sit naturally where it wants to and then lock it back down but um yeah for the most part we're we're back good again no exhaust leaks so now i just got to be careful going over speed bumps but then also that was another reason why i raised the motor um well the transmission was to help for that leak and then also uh what do you call it help um get some more clearance you know um, hopefully i got a little bit more clearance since that cross pipe comes into the center of the transmission so if that gave me some clearance i'm happy for that but uh, besides that you know good i just need to get a clean run do some more tuning on 10 pounds see what horsepower i'm at there and then after that push it up a little bit till i get to 500 and then uh i guess just play the waiting game um you know see what what's uh how long the motor will last or you know is it you know all these people online you know they talk about the rods the rods the rods um you know and that's you know you could bend rods not on horsepower i mean you can still bend it on horsepower too but i you know i feel you know like the torque um what do you call it you know is is the main key um, but of course, if they got a limit of torque of 400 foot-pounds, 
um, no matter what, it's, you know, still gonna be, so, <sighs> I don't know, I think on 10 pounds, I got a log, and I was at 380, but, you know, that Daishiro, man, I keep referencing back, they were making 610 on the stock VQ, you know, so I don't know if it's heat that's, you know, the culprit, or, you know, what or what, but, um, I, I'm hoping that my setup, um, what do you call it, helps, uh, what's that thing called, helps make the longer, I mean, have the longer, have the motor last longer, and then you see too, I'm just cruising, um, seeing it, I don't know, my coolant's at 185, or 183 actually, ah, hold on, I'm in fifth gear trying to make a turn, let me throw it in a second, yeah, so, you know, um, hopefully, you know, with my cooling system, that, uh, that helps save the motor. I mean, that's one thing that you read, hear about on, you know, RX-7s, well, you know, rotary motors, is that, you know, they need to run cool with a lot of fuel. Um, you know, and same could apply to a aluminum block, aluminum head, you know, motor. Uh, I don't know. Or it could just be with the VQ itself. You know, there's so many different characteristics as to what but, um, yeah, my transmission is shifting like butter again, so I'm happy for that. But, uh, all right, guys, late. All right, so day two, um, I didn't do it. So that whole vibration issue, um, I had it in my steering wheel. So it was, well, part of it after, you know, seeing, I was like, well, what the hell would, you know, me switching that, you know, um, had nothing to do with the subframe, but I went and I checked my tire pressure and one was low. So I ended up filling that back, went for a test drive, and I still had vibrations in the body. Um, so what that was, was the pitch of the um, drive shaft. So I ended up lowering it about a half inch, um, and uh, now she's good. Um, there's no crazy vibrations. And then even when I had it, you know, higher, um, I didn't have any transmission leaking out of the, the, the tail end. Um, Cause it was probably sitting like that so now it's you know hopefully like when i raised it up it didn't you know leak um but then i had to drop it in order for that vibration to go around so i'm just kind of just waiting to see because if not then i gotta change out that um rear uh rear seal on the um transmission but she's good she's you know driving you know just fine uh, hopefully i'll go get an alignment this Friday or something and then um, I don't know I want to just get these oil leaks squared out so I can go to the track and uh, hopefully get an 11 second slip so alright guys late.